What's up guys, this is Great Dane Gaming, I'm Dane, and welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Uh, last episode, we ended off with uh, a disappointing defeat, uh, and I have since regained uh, my party. And so, now what I'm thinking for this episode is actually to do something that in in Warband was kind of like the first goal usually um, but because it's actually a lot easier to get to a castle in this game I, I kind of ignored it uh, but we're actually probably going to need to wait till day to do this but then we're going to walk around the town center. Wow, this is a long loading screen. Come on. There we go. Okay. And we're going to hold alt. And we're doing it at Sargot because it's the nearest town to my castle. Um, and so what I'm looking at here are what the different uh, what the different sh uh, not shops, uh, but like I don't I guess shops yeah is the best word uh, are here so we've got the olive press the pottery shop and the brewery and you know what before I do that oh, we're going to have to see that loading screen again I'm going to go into the shop and see so olives sell for fifty-two. Uh, pottery, sixty-five, and beer for sixty-three. Okay, and I think that's real low for pottery. It might be low for the other things too. Uh, um, but I think pottery is going to be what we want to go for. Town center, that's what I'm looking for. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to buy the shop. Because if you buy the shop, then I thought I saw something highlighting over here, but I think it was just that, that sign there. Um, if you buy the shop, you get all the income from the shop. Oh, I probably saw something like that that was highlighting. Why is that highlighted? It just looks like a bench. Um, so we're going to go... Uh, shop worker... Weird shadows. Shop worker, shop worker. Oh, okay. I just go to the shop worker. I can do this. I would like to buy the shop. It costs you just shy of 15 grand, which is well. Oh! This is different. Okay. This this is not how Warband worked. Um, so we can pick what kind of shop we want it to be. Huh. I'm real curious what happens if we make it a smithy, to be honest.
Smithies are the heart of ev every military. Iron ore is forged into weapons and armor. In a smithy... Wait. Can we get custom armor? <sighs> with, uh, with some hardwood, wood, smithies can also produce tools. Are you sure you want to open a smithy? Yes. Uh... Okay, so now we own the shop. We can change what we produce here. Um, how, how do workshops work? We take raw materials and produce goods to sell them at the local market. After paying the wages, we send the profits to the shop's owner. Uh, okay. So, what happens now? I wonder if each of those shop workers was like a different shop space, or was I, was I not buying the pottery shop there? I was just buying an empty shop space. Something change if I enter the smithy? Nothing seems different. Um, if we wait for some time, let's. Um, it hasn't shown up here yet. Let's wait for the next day. Still hasn't shown up here. Nothing there. Ah, so slow again. Okay. Now, uh, was that, is that my smithy? I guess. Worker, gang leader, body bar guard, gang leader, body guard. Okay. Okay, so th these are both my shop. It's not a different shop space, and the potter shop seems to have gone away. What do you produce here? It's a smithy. That doesn't really answer the question. Interesting. Well, I guess there's not a whole lot to do except go on with our lives and see if it starts making money for us um i i was wondering if there th th i'm thinking there's got to be a way to do this where the old game would let us not sell the things that our shops made and then we could pick them up uh, but I don't know how to affect any of that Whoa. 
Did I go into the arena? It's not what I wanted to do. Uh, ransom. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this guy, I think, because I've been wandering around short, like one fewer, uh, companions than what I could have, and it'd be nice to have another person. <laughs> so, what is it, stranger? Who are you? My name is Dirk. Tell me about yourself. You're a noisy one, I see. What do you want to know about? My family? Psst. On the... Oh. oh. Piss on them. How crude. Uh... I... I left home as a child and never cause... Never had cause to regret it. My brother can take my inheritance and I hope they choke on it. I fought in a few wars for one side or the other. You want to know about my comrade in arms? My dude, you have, you should care about people more. Uh, piss on them too. They all turn on you in the end. About my past, that's all I have to say. Well, not big on finesse or diplo diplomacy, is he? So what are you good at? I can fight. I don't mind doing work that others would would sh shirk what um sure i guess Um, oh, we upgraded some troops, and we probably want to get him some basic equipment. Oh, wow, I have a lot of stuff here. Sell, 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 sell. Okay. Um, yeah, let's start with some decent armor, like that, uh, do I want to buy that right now? Maybe we'll hold off, get you a helmet. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, any boots? Uh, I guess it's not that much. I guess that's all great. And how about a shield? Sure. Wow, that is a big shield. And uh, that's only three. Oh, that's four. Man, you do not get many uh, throwing items. Alright. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Right. So, we are still at war with these fellows over here. Oh, I can. There we go. Uh, what are they called again? Sorry, it's been... Oh, I'm not... Uh... Right. 
the Kuzates. It's been a while since I've played or, or recorded. I guess a week, not that long. But we are going to go and see if we can pick a fight. And I will be with you guys when I am over there. Alright guys, we're over here and I'm trying to catch Ragnar here. Seems like a reasonable fight for us. Uh, also on my way over, I started noticing down there, Smithy at Sargot is making us 313 gold a day. So, it is working. We'll have to... Uh, we're going to get into other people there. We'll have to see if we can do more stuff with that later. Man, what are they doing over here? There we go. Do this fight, which looks like we may uh, trounce these guys. But it will be our part in the war. In the war. There we go. Pop, pop, pop. Attack! Looks like they're trying to uh, mount up in a nice wall. Oh, I took out his horse. I always hit the horse when going against mounted guys. I have a bow. There we go. What's up, dudes? Oh, that's really hard to do. It's making me a little uh, motion sick. Beat me to it. Uh, done. Whoa! Plundered 1800 gold. You are now my prisoner. Uh, yep. Take this guy's prisoner. Take all the loot. Go in here. And upgrade these guys. Now that um, now that we have the training perk, it seems like the these do sometimes uh, level up after exiting the me menu, uh, or maybe it's just that they've leveled up before, and I didn't notice until that point. Ooh, we can catch Ragnar here now. So, I guess their faction technically is the forest people, not huh. I wonder we welcome strangers into our lands. The woods are wide, and their game is to be hunted and food to be gathered. Enough for us all. But there are some here, who, some who come here to steal from us, to enslave us, or to tax us. Every spring, the bodies of those 
who thieve of those thieves are discovered in the thaw. So what I'm wondering is if these guys are like a rebelling faction within the Kuzates or if they're just like a sub faction I'm not actually sure that that text there m made me think that it's not like a, a rebel faction but I'm, I'm really not sure I'm really not sure if that's the case or not I can use a bow too I don't know if I can hit with a bow but I can certainly use one Oh, are they just retreating? Seriously? Or are they just trying to form up? Yeah, they're just forming up up here. Oh, this suits me fine. It is making me dizzy, though. Hey, I gained a level. Okay. Time to mess up their ranks before they can really... Oh. Or die. I could do that too. prisoner I maybe should be a little bit more uh, tactful than that in fights but it also when it comes to fights that are that like that one side is that dominant it doesn't seem to really matter that much um, let's go back over here and see if, oh, we leveled up. That's right. Let's do that here. Ooh. Steelmaker, Curious Smelter. Character can refine two units of iron into one steel and... One unit of crude iron as a byproduct. So, this lets us create steel out of out of iron. But the thing is, the easier way and probably the more economical way a lot of the time is just to melt down stuff that you get as uh, as loot and. Use that for your steel crafting. So that's not that, like it's not necessary and it's not actually that helpful. Curious Smelter increases the rate of learning new parts design, part designs when smithing by 100%. So doubles it. This is actually surprisingly helpful because that process is really slow and they're well it's not that slow there's just a ton 
ton of things to learn, so it does take forever to actually get them. Uh, so now we have the option to put a perk or a, a focus point somewhere. Uh, leadership or stewardship could be helpful. Just like both of them make our army better. Uh, also, we have one more point we could put into pull arms. I'm using that a lot. Bows maxed out. Riding. Uh, uh, let's see. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I kind of want to just do smithing though, just because I want to be a good smith and I want to play with that element of the game. So I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Uh, nothing else. That I feel, ooh, charm we could do, especially since leveling so slow and we don't get to level that that much. Mm. Ooh, more renown from battle plus one renown for each issue resolved. Those are actually both kind of helpful things. Uh, socialize with nobles probably should be doing that more. To be honest, improve relations with people. Probably should be trying to do that more as well. Uh, tell you what. Let's... Let's put it into charm and we will try and utilize that part more. Oh, is this telling me that someone else has something that can be leveled up or just, oh wait, there it was. Yep. Uh, so Rhea can uh, have quivers have three more arrows when you enter a battle on horseback. Your throwing weapons have plus one quantity. She has been using a bow. So, spare arrows. Boop. Wait, is there still a shield up there? Oh, zero. Okay. Oh. Oh. How did I pull that menu up. I also didn't know that you could change this afterwards. Okay, this is just B. Apparently, they expect you to be changing your banner on the reg. Um... Oh, it's real tempting to try and challenge that guy. I don't want to do it, though, if others are going to chase me. Like, the party of 80. Okay, we're inside here can wait for them to pass. Those are caravans, caravans. Um, man, I want to try and do one more thing, one more battle before we end the episode. Caravan, caravan, caravan. Goodness. 
So many caravans. Oh no, don't get mixed up with those guys at the same time. Man, it's, it's funny, but, whoa, why did my gold change? Why is that so small? Everything is just low. It's, it's it's funny how this game is like it's so true to the experience of this game to just being so on edge and so cautious about getting like sandwiched in between two opposing forces or whatever or I guess two opposing forces is the wrong way to say that but well maybe not but d two of your enemies okay gold's quite a bit back up so I think we're we're fine with that I'm not sure what these guys are <sighs> All right, I'm going to find someone to fight, and I'll be back. All right, we caught up with Eltanas here with the 80 troops, finally on his own. And we are going to fight him. And we'll have to try and be bit more tactful here I guess but I'm not sure how much we can do Ooh. infantry forward okay I think they they are coming at us Arrows! so that's that's the one thing that I was most unsure Move! about. Infantry! Stay close! Horse archers! Follow me! All right. Oh, now, now they're mounting up up there. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can draw them out. Poke them with a stick, if as it were. Oh, this guy's coming out to play at least. Or he was. Whoa, who lost their horse here? Someone got hurt? Come on. You guys. Oh, I guess everybody's just going through the middle now. Wow, he took a lot of damage. Let's see if we can, like, send them into enough chaos here that they'll break ranks. Not really, they reform. 
but I think it is enough that we could keep doing this. Infantry! Infantry! As our other guys. What? Archers! Kill them all! Put me in charge! Yeah, there. That's what I want. They, they'll all charge in. We can keep messing with these guys. looks really good of him like getting knocked off his horse okay they're charging in now time for us to cause as much confusion and chaos in their ranks as possible Gotta keep messing with all these archers here. Oh, that's not helping. Hitting horses. Oh, I'm pretty sure I just killed my own guy. Whoops. my prisoner and with that we will end the episode and I will see you guys next time hopefully or hopefully I have control over this uh, I'm thinking what what we should do next time is check out some of the quests that I've kind of been ignoring for most of this playthrough so we'll go probably find some lords we can do some errands for and hopefully get in better terms with them uh and then oh let's oh see i can't vote for myself other people probably aren't going to vote for me because again people don't don't really like me so We'll do that next time. I will see you guys then.